Watch you guys got another video here for you on the best graphics cards for your money in 2020 now this is going to come down to a bunch of different things that you may be looking for in a graphics card like the best entry sort of level graphics cards the best mid range card the best mid range performance card the best high end card or the best extreme card that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video now if you're looking at really sort of basic entry level cards then the rx 570 four gigabyte card is still a decent card at 129 dollars or 128 pounds you can still play a lot of games on this rx 570 so if you can get this dirt cheap then you want to get into pc gaming then i would still use that today now moving on to uh, another type of card which is your rx 580 it's still usable today and it's still a great graphics card if you get the eight gigabyte version you can pick it up for around about 149 dollars or 149 pounds which means you can still play AAA listed games. Again, moving on to the RX 590, this is sort of pushing the boundaries a little bit of £164 or $189, which means you're now really sort of pushing on to the 1650 Super level and going over that price point because the GTX 1650 Super is £149.99 which means you're getting better performance and better power consumption. So if you can get those RX cards cheap or cheaper than what you see there, then they might still be worth it. But when you're moving on towards the mid-range area, which we're going to be talking about right now, which is the RX 5500 XT at £159 or $187. So we're just sort of entering the mid-range area, but we're still in the entry level with that sort of card. The 1660 Super, on the other hand, is a different animal altogether. It's still £184 or $220, but it will outperform the RX 590 quite comfortably. So it's a pretty decent card. Now, if you want to push up a little bit with the RX 5600 XT 6 gigabyte card, this is where you'll start leaving those RX 570, 580 and 590 graphics cards behind and also having better power consumption with the newer graphics cards that are being released today. Now, if you really want to push the boat out, you can go for the RX 5700 XT 8 gigabyte card it's 378 pounds but you do get a really big bang for the buck for this particular type of card so i do like this card but uh, there was a lot of problems with drivers and stuff like that but i do think they have sort of ironed those issues out right now and this is where i think a lot of the uh, more serious gamers are going to be looking at which is your mid-range performance area which is your rx 5700 xts and your rtx 2070 supers these are uh, you know 1440p gaming uh, cards and you can see the price difference between the rx 5700 xt compared to the rtx 2070 super and also we have got the in a category of its own in the high-end card which is the uh, rtx 2080 super there's no amd cards in that bracket whatsoever so if you look here at the benchmarks you can see the rtx 2070 super is uh, 14 percent faster than the rx 5700 xt but remember it is more expensive so you're talking about over 100 odd pounds more than the rx 5700 xt now once you start talking about the rtx 2080 super you can see it's a lot more powerful than the rx 5700 xt and it sort of leaves the amd cards behind a little bit but you are paying that extra premium for that so is it worth it you have to look at that sort of price point and think is that where i need to be again the rtx 2080 super is in a category of its own and if you live in the states you can pick one of these up for around about 700 dollars which is an absolute steal now of course for those people that have got absolute money to burn then the rtx 2080 ti is a super expensive graphics card it's a beast of a graphics card and it's designed for 4k gaming but again really if you want to sort of spend that amount of money on a graphics card, most people are going to be putting that amount of money into an actual complete system rather than, uh, you know, spending all that money on the graphics card itself because it is pretty overpriced. And again, there is no competition when it comes to the 2080 Ti. Hence why uh, Nvidia can charge extortionate amounts of money for the uh, RTX 
2080 Ti and also the 2080 Super as well because that's where the cutoff is for AMD. They can't uh, go into that area. They just can't push those graphics cards at all with their RX 5700 XT cards. So what is the right graphics card for you? Well, let's go through some of the things that you need to look out for and that way you'll be able to find out what is the right graphics card for you. So first off, let's start off with budget. Make sure uh, you work out what your budget is and how much you can afford. Then look at the hardware of your system and find out what sort of graphics card is best for that particular hardware. Because if you've got uh, you know, a really low end system and you're trying to put a really beefy graphics card in there, you may have to start upgrading power supplies. And also if your monitor is a you know, 4K cheap monitor, so what is the right graphics card for you and which one should you buy? Well, I guess this comes down to a bunch of different things that you have to ask yourself. One of them is budget. How much money have you got to spend? Some people have got money to burn and some people haven't. So you have to work out what your budget is. Two, you have to work out what your hardware is that you're trying to put the graphics card into. Is it some old system, some old Dell Optiplex that you've bought? and you're trying to put in a graphics card, well, I wouldn't go and spend vast amounts of money on a graphics card for an old Dell Optiplex system. It's just not worth it. You're gonna end up with uh, power uh, issues, power consumption issues from the power supply. You're also gonna uh, run into other types of issues like micro stutters and also freezing and also other bottlenecks and things like that when you're doing that sort of thing. So work out what sort of system you've got and that's the next thing. Also your monitor plays a key part in what you're trying to do. Some people have gone and bought a 4K monitor dirt cheap from say uh, some bank holiday special. It's a 60 hertz 4K monitor and when they start trying to drive that 4K with a cheap uh, entry level graphics card they will lose massive amounts of frames and it will be a complete nightmare to run so if you're talking about 4k gaming you're talking 2080 ti sort of tier graphics cards so what about 1080p 144 hertz um, gaming monitors what about if you've just bought one of those what card should you be looking at well if you're spending that money on that particular type of monitor then you should be looking at putting in there at least i would say a 2070 super or an rx 5700 xt graphics card to get the benefit out of that uh, type of monitor you can then put the settings up a little bit more and enjoy uh, really good frame rates and also good refresh rates as well but if you're looking at doing it on a tight budget then you'd be looking at probably the rtx 2060 uh, but you may have to turn down some of the settings again 1660 supers pushing it a little bit with the uh, 144 hertz gaming monitor you're not really going to see the benefit to be honest uh, when you have to turn everything down just to get the higher frame rates so yeah i would say looking at that sort of 2070 super sort of uh to get the most benefit or the rt uh, rx 5700 xt now i'm pretty sure there's going to be people that will say i'm running a 144 hertz gaming monitor with a 1660 uh, super or a 1060 or something like that and they probably are but you're not going to see the full benefit of it unless you really sort of uh, go up the food chain with those graphics cards to be honest with you but anyway that's going to be about it for this video this one is starting to string out a little bit too long and i've been waffling on and i can do this all day long i do love uh, talking about technology with you guys and uh, i hope you can get some sort of good use out of this information and if you can then give the video a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great weekend guys bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos